Hello, glad to see you made your way back to the DIY Homefront channel. Today I wanted to cover a problem that I have with my hardwood floors. And you might have the same problem. The fact that furniture and chairs always want to leave marks or scratches. Years ago we started putting felt pads on the bottom of the chairs. And we have to replace them every now and then. And it's time to replace all the felt pads on the kitchen chairs. And felt pads that are designed to go on an office chair with rolling wheels. Let me open these up and I'll show you what they look like. I don't know if you can read that or not, but it looks like to install, you just stretch them over the legs of the chair. And it came with enough to do six chairs, which is perfect for the kitchen. And for the office chair, it just comes with a really large felt pad that's got a notch in it that you can put the wheels into. This is one of the legs and you can see it's got a felt pad that's been replaced a couple times. It has some dog hair on it, but it's all sticky. I, uh, every now and then I flip all the chairs upside down and take a vacuum cleaner to them to try to clean them off. But let's see how these new ones work. The directions had you just pulling it out and going over it. Wow, that was easy enough. Let's see what it looks like from the side. Got the felt tab up top and the rubber boot around the bottom leg to hold it in place. Well, that's a lot easier than the other ones. In the past, I had to replace the felt pads about every year. So there it is, the bottom of my office chair and the wheels that support it. And you can see, I've just taken these little discs that had carpet on them that are made to slide furniture around and put some double-sided tape to make them stick. I put screws in each one of the wheels so that the wheels can't turn. And that's how I've been preventing my floor from getting all dinged up. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the floor where the chair sits. And these little discs do a pretty good job. The last time. A couple weeks ago when I went to get some more to replace them, I couldn't find any at the box stores. So that's what caught me going to Amazon and looking. It took me a while to find these. So uh, I'm going to get some double-sided tape and do the same thing to these. And there's my double-sided tape. There's the two-sided tape stuck to the wheels. The other side of the sticky off. Next thing to do would be to simply take the pads and put them over the wheels. The new ones have a slot, but it's not hard, it's flexible, it's just felt. The old ones had a hard plastic center, which meant the two wheels might push down on one spot, but the whole bottom kept the weight. I'm afraid that the way these are designed when the two wheels push down, you're just going to end up with two spots that are actually sliding on the floor. But we'll see. I can always cut a small piece of wood to fit inside of there. That will, that will turn this whole thing into one big pad. No, nope, we'll just have to see what the follow-on review says. And here's what the felt pads look like on the stools in the kitchen. 